Hey everybody, Miranda Patron back here with you for another round of making stones and this time I have the new Happy Dotting Company oval molds. I'm super excited I'm finally getting a chance to do these. And I'm going to use the same measurements as always with a half a cup of water and have my potter's plaster here from Capital Ceramics. And with the Capital Ceramics, it is one cup of the plaster in half a cup of water. So I just put them into a flexible plastic bowl for now. And you have to be careful not to just stir up the dust and get it all over the place because it does get in the air. You could possibly wear a mask, that might be helpful. But I also just pour it in really slowly so that it doesn't foof up into like a big dust cloud because that's what we don't want to breathe in. So I'm not super strict about scraping it off like when you're baking and making everything super level. I just do one cup of plaster to half a cup of water. And I know a lot of you appreciate the comments you guys gave me about finding silicone and other things to pour this with. I just haven't gotten around to it yet because this has been a very busy season. I'm making a mess here, but you want to stir it up and try not to create too many bubbles in it, but get it so that it's a good fluid consistency of like batter, which it should do anyway with those measurements. Hi Seppi. Hi Seppi. So I have my helper here, Giuseppe, who's gonna watch me do this and he's brought us a little dinosaur friend and an elephant. Is it an elephant? Where's your guys? Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, is he a mammoth? He's a mammoth. And a dinosaur? Cool. Alright, so Giuseppe's going to supervise me making these. Alright, so we've mixed it up really good. Oh, oh. Oval. Right, is that, what color is that? It's oval. What color? Oval. It's yellow and that's... It's that. That's green. All right, so oval. I think I'm going to do the little ones this round. Oval. Sure, you can hold the oval oh, oh. because I always almost, oh. yeah, because I want to give you the opportunity to, to see the upgrade I've made to my palette magnets design, so. Oh, oh. Oval, yeah. Oval. So these ones I'm actually going to. It's hot. Yeah. It's doing. I'm making molds of the oval. Yes, I'm gonna make oval. Okay, don't put it in that one, not yet. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Thank you for being patient. Not yet, okay? We'll do those next. Okay. And I overflowed this one a little bit. I usually try to do this type of stuff with when somebody's asleep so that I don't have helpers. <laughs> Alright. So I've got that one poured. I'm going to let it kind of settle into the mold there. And then we'll get this one filled. And I'm not too worried about the lip on this one because I can just sand it down smooth. The Potter's Plaster is extremely forgiving. You don't shake the table, bud, okay? Is that your sister Aria? Sister Aria. Mm-hmm. Right set. There. Oval. An oval, that's right. Alright, I'm making a mess today. Make a mess? Yeah, I make a mess. So what do we do with a mess? Acrylic frying. We have to clean up clean up when we make a mess, right? Alright, so we'll let that one sit. Alright, so now 
with the extra, I probably could have done three of those again, but I want to be able to show how I've been doing my palette magnets. I showed you guys these a long time ago for the leftover plaster, but I was gluing my magnets on after the fact, which is fine. It's fine. Um, but <laughs> I figured out a better way. So I have these heavy duty magnets. All we do is press it down in to the flat side like that. And when it dries, we can just pop it out. And sometimes I have to sand it, sometimes I don't. And then they stick right to the fridge and they're flush. So the same thing with my little paw print mold I did. You can fill them up and then once you get them full, just press the magnet into the mold. Super helpful. Kind of like making putting extra chips in cookies. Oh. Do you like cookies, Seppy? Uh-huh. <laughs> like cookies. You do like cookies. Alright, so I'm also doing one of the larger ovals. Seppy has left the building momentarily. <laughs> he left us the mammoth though to our buddies, so we won't be alone. And I did just a half a cup of the water again with one cup of the plaster. Okay, and this is the larger of the ovals. Took, oh, you know what? I think if I had done one of these and one of these, it would have been the perfect amount of the powders plaster with a couple magnets maybe on the side, but I mean as far as the amount. So I've got a decent amount here, but I'm not thinking it's going to fill this whole mold. So I'm going to do something else with it here. I'm off camera. Here we go. Just enough to make a trivet. So I've made a couple of these in the past. They actually came out pretty nicely. Very happy with them. And this lid for plastic actually has a, a spike in the center, so it already had my center dot in it. And then I think it's from like our Chinese food place, so also too it has these little ridges which also line up your plus sign, or like the, yeah, the straight line and then your 45 degree angles, so it was kind of a fun find that that fit. I just randomly tried it one day, but we will let those sit. Alright, so one of the dangers of leaving stuff down where people can reach it. <laughs> is that things get broken. So this one got touched before it was ready and it got broken. So I won't show you that one but we will uh, unhook this one here. And see how nice it turned out. Now, like I said, there's a little lip here I can just sand down, so that's not a big deal. Or sometimes you can even leave it as your stand. So, I'm super excited. These are so fun. So, this is the larger one. It's almost the size of my palm. See how nicely those turned out. So excited. So and with my leftovers I have a couple other molds that I just popped them in. Did a little four leaf clover. And then of course let's see here our palette magnets. And these come out super easily. 
And you can paint the other side. And then stick them to the fridge. So I think too on Happy Dotting Company's site on her YouTube she shows you guys how to make earrings using these. So you should definitely check that out as well if you're looking for functional art. And then my trivet. Let's see how this guy came out. I love my plastic lid here. Ta-da! There's my center and everything. Like I said, it's just fun. Sometimes I'll use it to um, use the plaster and other things just to kind of see what it makes. But obviously the reason I did this is because these molds are amazing. That's initially my priority is doing these fun molds for the stones. And you can find them at the Happy Dotting Company. Angela has wonderful customer service, so she will help you all out, definitely. And she ships U.S. and nationwide, or internationally. Alright, so I hope you all enjoyed this. hope it was helpful for you, and I'm looking forward to creating the next video. Alright, I just want to add a little addition to that video. I mixed up my half a cup of water with my one cup of potter's plaster and it fit like a glove into the two molds. So that's like the perfect measurement to do one large one small oval and I'll put the link to the potter's plaster in my video description for you all and uh, yeah so be sure to check out my other videos with painting these type of stones and other stones, natural stones. I have a couple canvas videos, or if you're just looking to see my art, I'm on Instagram. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great evening, and I will see you all real soon.